it's uh, uh, Thursday morning. Uh, pretty busy day today. I got to dump uh, garbage off. I'm going to do an inspection first in Vancouver. And then I'm going back to my uh, a, a rental job there, a commercial building there. I'm going to pull the rest of the drywall out and load the truck with drywall. And then I want to dump the drywall today. So that's my adventure today and whatever demo we can do. So uh, I want to wrap it up tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, we're going to take those commercial windows out. I'm not sure what kind of uh, problem we're going to have with those. And then we'll round up all the garbage and everything and do a whole load of garbage and all that. Okay, let's see what happens in this adventure today. Okay, stand by. The pile's awfully high here. Look at that. It's the highest I've seen it this year. Usually, uh, they're right on top of it. So they're really slow for some reason. I don't know why. I don't think they're that busy, but they're just not not dumping that fast anymore. Let's see what's around the corner. It's a housing crunch. Parks right there in the road. That's pretty high, huh? Yeah. All mesh. Those box of flowers. Not too busy today, I'll tell ya. Not taking nothing out either. There's the gas price of diesel, 1489. Supreme 176. So fuel is expensive today, I'll tell ya. Over 1960s home. Not very really much here. Oopsie empty. Got a living room, a dining room. Looks like they were painting here. They took all the light switches off. So they're trying to paint this up here. Basic kitchen. Not even original's been changed. It's backyard. Downstairs a little bit later. It's one bedroom here. It's another bedroom. It's the washroom. Another uh, miss. Put a countertop on here instead of cutting it down and just put one piece on. Stupid looking. Cheap rental. I'm trying to make a rental, anyways. Here's the biggest bedroom. Front of the house. Okay. 
Yeah, just another, another crap house. Another one down. We're gonna tear this down. Okay, I'll show you the back after when I uh are downstairs after. Over so the back of the house right now. Lots of garbage under here. It's like a lawnmower, just fireplace screen. So we're going to basement. I don't know who took the hinges off the door. I mean, the guys, the back door is open, but I can't deal with it. His house. It's rec room. This is the old drywall plaster here, so it's uh, a little bit older. Mixed with drywall, so they did some a few renovations. Got T-bar ceilings. T-bar ceilings. Pretty good storage on the stairs. Not too bad. Here's the furnace room. Asbestos duct tape and so on. Bad insulation house. It's the bathroom. Really old, basic looking. Laundry room. Kitchen area. You can do your laundry while you're cooking your food. Room under the stairs. Bunch of junk, a little bit of food. What's this box here? It's empty. Okay, that's the stairway to go back up. Okay, that's it. This is the house here. Now we're gonna go to our job and finish your uh, work on a commercial job for the next day or so. Okay, the adventure continues. Okay, so we're working upstairs here. We pulled all that beam out, exposed the whole beam. We moved the washroom. It keeps getting bigger and bigger. The job. They keep changing things over and over. I've never seen the job get changed so many times. Now the two walls came out, that wall, now the ceilings came out, now the beams don't. This bit is a bearing wall here, they thought it wasn't one. Well, I could, anybody could have said it was one. Especially with a two by six structure, right? This one came out. So I'm gonna uh, salvage a steamer. And I'm gonna cut all the copper out of this thing. So I can have all the copper. Cause it's all gonna relocate anyways, most of it. All that copper around the hot water tanks all coming out. Lots of corner bead. Look at this. Just a small wall here. Look at all that corner bead. It's ridiculous. Never ending. Now we're taking off some drywall downstairs now too.